this video we are going to see the topic data compression so let's see the definition for data compression it is the process of reducing the amount of data required to represent a given quantity of information actually or network la data send pannumodla nama ellame digital data va da send pannu that is uh, bits form la form la da nama enna pannu data va send pannu okay so data compression la and nama send pandra the number of bits reduce panni send pandra da enna nu solluvom data compression okay so if we nama number of bits send pandra da nama reduce pandradnala namak enna advantage why this data compression is important so we can able to store capacity and also speed up file transfer decrease cost for storage network and also the bandwidth so nama vandu file transfer vandu speed up aagum because nam number of bits reduce pandrom okay so or periya large files smaller file la maathi nam send pannumbodhu kandipa speed nalla ve irukum so this why this data compression is important okay so data compression is also referred as bit rate reduction or source coding okay so other names for data compression enna appadina bit rate reduction or source coding and this technique is used to reduce the size of large files okay so or very large files oda size a reduce pandrathu da the technique that is data compression technique is pandro normally uh, normally the best example for data compression is uh, normally we paathirukk or rar file zip file id ellame enna na examples for data compression okay so for example consider i am going to send a video file okay and the file size the video oda file size enna na 2 gp id or uncompressed data okay or 2 gp data uncompressed data so the duration enna appadina 2 hours okay idha na compress pandren appadina the duration is same 2 hours but the file size is reduced from 2 gp to 750 mb so this video file is what we call that is compressed file okay or 2 gp data va na evlo data ku compress panikka 750 mp data ku na enna panikka compress panikka okay so this process is called data compression okay so let's see the advantages of data compression data compression helps in reducing the amount of disk space required okay so nama disk space uh, uh, reduce panirala nama ena number of bits send pandra da nama enna pandra kammi pandra so disk space automatically reduce aayid okay So, and also it helps in reducing the transmission bandwidth so namak vand small file send pannadhal romba bandwidth mutta bandwidth thevai padad okay so and also it reduces the time needed to transfer or download the ipo nam or chinna file send pannamulla transfer pannadhukku easy download pannadhukku namak easy so these are all the advantages of um, data compression okay so let's see with the block diagram of data compression so now nam normally or input data va encrypt and compress data va enna pandrom encode pandrom nothing but zip file illa rar file convert pandrom okay so that is called as data compression and also output data namakku enna kanikku compressed data that is uncompressed data va compressed data va nam enna pannittu convert pandrom okay idu vandu the compress pandrathu nam enna solluva encoding sir okay ஒரு ஃபார்ம்ல இருந்து இன்னொரு ஃபார்முக்கு நம்ம மாத்திரத நார்மலா என்கோடிங் சொல்லுவோம் சிம்லர்லி ஒரு அன்கம்ப்ரஸ் டேட்டா ஒரு கம்ப்ரஸ் டேட்டாவா மாத்திரத என்னன்னு சொல்லுவோம் ஹியர் டேட்டா கம்ப்ரஷன் பை யூசிங் திஸ் என்கோடா ஓகே அண்ட் தென் டி கோடிங் இப்ப வந்து ஒரிஜினல் ஃபைல நம்ம டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பண்ண பிறகு ரிசீவர் சைட்ல நம்ம என்ன பண்ணுவோம் அதே அவுட்புட் தட் இஸ் கம்ப்ரஸ்ட் டேட்டாவை அந்த கம்ப்ரஸ் டேட்டாவை டி கோட் பண்ணுவோம் டி கோட் பண்ணும்போது என்ன ஆகும் அன்கம்ப்ரஷன் நடக்கும் ஓகே அண்ட் அட் த என் வி கெட் த சேம் அன்கம்ப்ரஸ்ட் ஃபைல் or we can say the original file so original file namak undu okay na so the when data va network la send pannum bodhu encode panni send pannu receiver side la the decode pannu ena namak original file vena adanal encode file file that is compressed file file uncompress pannu okay so this is the block type gram of data compression so example two mark la ketta id eludhinga okay and then types of data compression okay let's see the types of data compression there are two main types in data compression one is lossless compression and second one is lossy compression okay let's see one by one lossless data compression lossless data compression is used to compress the file without losing an original file quality and data okay nama data compress pannumbodhu la endu oru and then after that decompress pannumbodhu endu oru loss of 
bits you know loss of uh, files on mutual kupra so that kind of compression is called as lost as data compression so no data is lost while we decrypt and that is encrypt and decrypt okay or data or number of bits or single bit kuda nilka miss aayira kuda okay illana delete aayira kuda so that kind of compression is called lost as data compression okay so namma or or large file send pandrom send pannumbodhu compress panni send pandrom receiver side la uncompress pandrom send pannumbodhu end number of bits either namma vandu that is compress pannumbodhu decompress pannumbodhu end or number of bits namukku enna aagapodadhu reduce aagapodadhu so that kind of technique is called as lossless data compression okay so in lossless data compression file size is reduced but the quality of data remains the same okay file size namu and compress panni send pandrom okay file size reduce panni namu enna pandrom send pandrom but quality of uh, uh, data la endo or changes enna pandrom adu proper quality should be same in both the sender and receiver side okay and the main advantages of lossless data compression is that we can restore the original data in its form in its original form after the decompression so in original data we kadaga even though we perform we do that compression and decompression in the original data kadaga so that kind of technique is called lossless data compression okay in the lossless data compression is mainly used in the sensitive documents like confidential information so high priority documents ka nam use pandra data compression and lossless because in the original form ade one end or miss of data missing of data also illa missing of bits irukku kuda okay so adha vandu high priority information illa confidential information ka nam use pandra data compression and lossless data compression okay let's see the block diagram of lossless data compression this is original file we do compression okay the file is compressed and then at the receiver side again it is restored in its original form without losing any number of bits okay that that type of technique is called lossless data compression okay so this is the block diagram of uh, lossless data compression let's see the techniques of uh, lossless compression some of the most important lossless data compression techniques of okay rand length encoding lempel sip uh, that is sip coding huffman coding arithmetic coding so these are the some of the techniques of lossless compression okay let's moving on yeah moving on to the next okay type of data compression that is lossless data compression okay let's see the definition lossless data compression is used to compress larger files into some smaller files okay so uh, uh, normally uh, what this uh, data compression Uh, do that is it is used to compress the larger files into smaller files in this compression technique some specific amount of data and quality are removed from the original file okay so now when the receiver side la nam decompress panumbodhu original form la namakku kadaikadhu any number of bits namakku enagala reduce aagala illa bits miss aayirukala okay so the original form kadaikadhu namakku vandu but we do this compression and uh and compression adu nammalaala pannudiyo but original form receiver side la nak ena panna adu kadaikal sala number of bits ena ikla miss aagalam so this type of technique is called as lossy sorry lossy data compression okay uh, and then it takes less memory space from the original file due to the loss of original data and quality so same as uh, lossless data compression it also takes less memory space from the original file due to loss of original data and quality so memory space compared to lossless lossy lossy la konjam namakku kammiya da irukum okay memory space occupy pandrathu kammiya da irukum and this technique is generally useful for us when the quality of information is not our first priority so high confidential information na namak compress panni send pandrona we can go for uh, lossless data compression so and high priority information na send panna normally or casual one information na vandu compress panni send panna na we can go for this okay lossy data compression okay so lossy data compression is mostly uh, used in uh, jpeg mpeg video and mp3 audio formats okay in the type of files ku nam use panna data compression na lossy data compression okay let's see the block diagram of lossy data compression so original file la compress panni நம்ம என்ன பண்றோம் சென்ட் பண்றோம் ரிசிவர்ஸ் சைட்ல அந்த ஒரிஜினல் ஃபைல் ரிஸ்டோர் பண்றோம் தட் இஸ் அன்கம்ப்ரெஸ் பண்ணி ஒரிஜினல் ஃபைலுக்கு நம்ம என்ன பண்றோம் எடுக்கும் பட் இது வந்து ஒரிஜினல் ஃபார்ம் நம்ம சென்ட் பண்ற ஒரிஜினல் ஃபைல் அதே சைஸ்ல நமக்கு என்ன ஆகாது கிடைக்காது சில நம்பர் ஆஃப் பிட்ஸ் நமக்கு என்ன ஆகலாம் 
Messala la lossava. So this kind of technique is called as okay, lossy data compression. Okay, so let's see the techniques of uh, lossy data compression. Some important lossy data compression techniques are transform coding, discrete cosine transform, that is DCT, discrete uh, wavelet transform, DWT. So these are the some of techniques of lossy data compression. Okay.